Hi everyone, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome to my back garden where today we're not actually going to produce a beekeeping video but I've got um, an unboxing video to show you of sorts which is uh, nothing to do with beekeeping. So if you're here to watch a beekeeping video, I'm really sorry, but today this is not beekeeping. This is another passion of mine, uh, which is cooking. And uh, for uh, a couple of months now, I've been trying to identify a, uh, a product that my family have very kindly said that they would uh, buy for me for uh, a com combination of Christmas and birthday presents for probably the next three or four years. Uh, however, uh, I finally found the product that I wanted to buy and I thought it'd be great just to do an unboxing video and if this goes well then who knows I might even have another YouTube channel to share with you. So what's in the box? Well this is a pizza oven and it comes from a company called the pizzaovenshop.com I'll put all the links and all the details about the pizza oven uh, in the description and the reason that um, I'm sharing all of that with you it isn't because they've paid me or given me the pizza oven for free it's because I've spent an awful lot of time checking out uh, various pizza ovens and trying to find one that would suit me in our tiny little back garden here and most of them seem to be massive uh, you can get the smaller ones which will go on a little tabletop uh, but me being me I wanted the best that I could possibly get for the situation that we've got here. I had considered making my own pizza oven uh, but those of you that have seen the beekeeping videos previously will know that first of all my woodworking skills are not great and so I suspect my building skills would be even worse so uh, I opted to go for a uh, a purchased pre-built pizza oven and this one is called an igneous classico and it's a pizza oven that's produced in portugal and i'll go through some of the details as we unbox it the first thing that i wanted to say was that uh, the guy that i spoke to at the pizza oven shop.com a chap by the name of ian has been incredibly helpful uh, you know when you go online to a new website for the first time you're always a little bit daunted and maybe a little bit cautious about doing business with people uh, i had one or two questions and so i thought well i'll send them an email and see if they uh, come back to me and ian was uh, very honest and very very helpful in that he pointed me in the direction of this particular oven rather than a more expensive oven that I had originally been looking at. So uh, my thanks to everyone at the pizzaovenshop.com company, particularly Ian. Uh, the product I paid for and has been shipped out to me exactly when they said it was going to be shipped out. It's on a pallet and uh, it looks as if it's been well looked after in getting it across to us. So let's get it unboxed and uh, see if we can get it set up on the table. The table that I've got for it, uh, just behind me here, uh, is a, a teak bar table. Again, I got this off the internet. I'll put a link to it. Uh, I've sat on the top of it. I'm quite a heavy chap and it seems to take my weight okay. I think the pizza oven's around 45 kilos, so it should be okay up there, but I might See if I can find a, a woodworking or metalworking friend that can put some support struts in just to make it even more secure. So anyway, let's get on with the unboxing. I won't bore you with all the bits and pieces, but we'll get it out, get it set up here. I'll show you how it goes together, hopefully successfully, and uh, then we'll talk about exactly what we've got. So we've actually lifted the pizza oven shell out of the box because um, it needs two people really to manhandle it so I've had a hand to lift it out this far and beneath the oven we've got the fire bricks on on the base so I'm just going to take open the protective cover here so for the eagle-eyed amongst you you'll see it's a different jumper it's a different day, although the sun's just trying to come out. It's a much colder day and it's actually 
a different pizza oven. Uh, once we unpacked the main wrapping, we discovered that in transit, unfortunately, the pizza oven had become damaged. And I think this is really important. Note the, the box itself originally looked okay when, when we took delivery. But when we had a further inspection, you could see that it had been scuffed. And it's really important that if you take delivery of one of these pizza ovens, that you check the box, pull all of the cling wrap that's wrapped around it away from the box to make sure that you're signing for a box that is undamaged. When we took it out, actually parts of the pizza oven had been crushed in and folded in. <clears throat> now I have to say, the pizzaovenshop.com guys, Ian and Richard, were on the case immediately. There were no questions. It was replaced within 48 hours and here we are literally 48 hours later. The delivery has just arrived and we've taken the pizza oven out and checked it thoroughly uh, before we've actually signed the delivery sheet. And I think that's really important. If you're gonna spend a lot of money on a pizza oven, it's got to be right. So uh, on top of the box, although it's upside down, there is a notice which says important and uh, you need to check everything, the box, the pallet, make sure there's no damage before you accept the delivery. Uh, my thanks to Ian and Richard for sorting this out so very quickly. So uh, as you can see, we've lifted the oven out of the box and so I'm now just gonna unwrap it and take out all of the bits and pieces and we'll just go through what we've got. and. Um, the oven comes out of the box and beneath the oven in the box are the actual fire bricks that go inside the oven. So it's really a two person job. You want to lift this out with two people. Uh, you can take the bricks out one at a time, but moving the pallet, uh, two people could lift it. The total weight is probably about 50 kilos with the pallet and the box and everything but the oven itself with the fire bricks in weighs 45 kilos. So let's have a look, see uh, what we've got and uh, how it all fits together. So here's the oven. Um, I've just cut the tape that holds the, the foam and this is the aubergine model. And I uh, absolutely love this color. It's absolutely fantastic. Really lovely finish. Uh, so we'll take out the bits that come with it inside the oven, which is the the chimney fitting and the cowl that goes on top of the chimney. And uh, we've also got the oven door and there's also a fire grate in there, which uh, I'm told by Ian that you don't actually need to use. Uh, and of course, we've got the pizza oven uh, manual. And uh, although it's Portuguese, the manual is in English, which is great. So we just take the uh, polystyrene away. So the uh, chimney comes in in three parts. There's the actual main tube. You get a um, like a jubilee clip that needs to go over the oven opening, the chimney opening at the top, and then the tube goes on top of that. And I guess the uh, jubilee clip goes around the bottom to fit into place. This uh, handle at the top here is actually a damper. If I take this chimney section off, you can see in here that we've got a method of controlling the heat that's in the oven. So we can dampen it down to reduce the heat or open it up to get a roaring pizza fire going. I guess you dampen it down if uh, if you're maybe baking bread or something like that, doing a roast. But we'll, uh, we'll experiment with that in the future. So that fits on top. And then the Jubilee clip goes on top of there. You'll need either a small spanner 
um, or a flat headed screwdriver uh, to, to tighten it up. And you just need to position it over the, the ridge so that's in place. And then the cowl, the rain cowl that fits on the top, which is uh, very shiny. Uh, that goes onto the top. It's actually got the um, Jubilee clip fitted to it already. So that goes over the top. And then that can be tightened up as well. So what I'll do is I'll take this off, tighten the cowl on first, because then I'm not reaching up there, and, and then we'll do the bottom one. So this is the door now that we've got the chimney in place. Uh, so it comes with the door, which is always handy. And this will allow us hopefully to um, produce slow roasted products. I guess that just sits in like so. Uh, okay, so this is a damper as well, so you can reduce the temperature using that. But that's that's really neat and it's really heavy duty. This is uh, 304 stainless steel, standard stainless steel, but really good quality. The construction looks fantastic actually. So um, that's the door. And then this is the uh, this is the fire retainer, which I think you build the fire up behind this, but actually uh, the guys at uh, pizzaovenshop.com have said not to worry about using that. So we'll set that to one side for now. And the next thing to do is to get the fire bricks in. So these are um, <laughs> dust, <laughs> dusty refactory bricks, refactory bricks, and they just go in and sit on the bottom. Get them in nice and square. And that's it, that's the build. I think I just need to edge one of these bricks in closer. There's a little bit of a gap that I want to close up. And I probably need to just get something down the side to move it in so that it sits nice and tightly. But that's it, that's pretty much the build of the oven. It's really straightforward, it takes seconds really. You need a screwdriver to fit the chimney and the cowl, but that's the only thing that needs a tool. So. I'm just going to move this fire brick across and then we'll pop the door on and that's it, that's the build complete. So this is my fabulous new Igneous Classico pizza oven. They come in different sizes, lots of different colours as well. Take a look at their website. I'm sure that um, both Ian and Richard will be more than happy to have a chat with you about what size would best suit you. We have only a small family and I think this uh, oven is going to be perfectly big enough for us to cook at least a couple of pizzas in here with a nice fire going at the back there and I'm really looking forward to sharing some of the uh, recipes that I've got planned some fish more pizzas maybe some roasts some bread there's so much that I think I'm going to be able to do with this and that's why I wanted it as a gift so I hope you enjoyed that if you've got any questions uh, about it then it's probably best to fire them off to the guys at the pizzaovenshop.com I'll put all the links in the uh, description below, but if you want to ask me anything about it, I'll do my best to answer those questions. And who knows, this might be a brand new 
YouTube channel for me to create showing you how I use my pizza oven. Hope you enjoyed that and we'll perhaps catch up again soon. Thanks for watching.